Today's wedding webflow, creating a loading screen interaction using Interactions 2.0. Let's jump into it. But before we jump into it, let's take a look at this sketch to see how we're going to structure our elements to create this interaction. Now, let's jump into it. All right, so let's think about our interaction. So we're gonna have our logo split into three distinct elements. So we're gonna put these elements within a layout wrapper and then in order to get our interaction to move we're going to need to have a mask on this middle part of the logo then we'll have it overflow hidden so then when the interaction occurs the middle portion of the logo will go left and then we can reduce the mass to zero. And then this portion of the logo will then move afterwards. All right, so now we're in our project. So we already briefly went over the structure so that we can complete this interaction. Uh, but just to give you a little bit more detail, the loading screen is placed as position fixed and then overlaid over all of the elements uh, that are on the website. So as you can see, it has a Z index of 999 to make sure that it is the top most item on our page. And then we have the container and the wrapper that we uh, drew out. And within it, we have our three assets separated. So now let's jump into how the interaction was completed. So we place the interaction on the wrapper. And then the interaction that we use is on page load. And it only occurs while the page is loading and I have it on a loop. So the first part of this, I want the middle portion of the logo to slide behind the mask. And then I want the mask to have a zero width. And then zero width of the mask. Then I want the mask to open again, so 100%. And then I want the middle portion to slide back out. Nice. Now let's check it on the loop. So this interaction here will occur the entire time that this page is shown. So we'll use interactions like this anytime we want to create something for the user to see before all the assets on the page completely load. Hopefully this was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See y'all next week.